All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. All right, so today, another simple day in the astrology for this week. Uh, the moon in Sagittarius, as was the case yesterday. So themes likely today around expanding our worldview, expanding our horizons, possibly quite literally, but getting into a bit of that inspiring energy and accessing a bit of that spirit for life. So along with that, the moon is going to go over Pluto, who has been transiting Sagittarius for many years now. So now an activation of what we can do to perhaps empower ourselves today, maybe regarding some of these inspirations or possibilities or worldviews that through facing any fears associated with this stuff, diving deep, being non-attached to this stuff, and accessing that spirit and cultivating these things can be very empowering here today. So along with that, the moon is going to be squaring up to Venus, sextiling up to Jupiter and Neptune, which are minor aspects. So let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Wednesday. Again, we are using the actual signs of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. This does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you are new, check out that link down below for more information. All right, so the moon in Sagittarius, um, this um, gibbous phase of the lunar cycle. We are in the momentum gaining phase as we now approach a full moon over the weekend. So moving forward as we go through the week, more and more awareness maybe inside, and all in all, just energy in a lunar sense as we um, you know, get to the fuller phase of the lunar cycle. So Sagittarius, this does have to do with the fire energy of, again, expanding those horizons, expanding our worldview, and just becoming more aware of our belief systems, right? How are we viewing things? What do we see as possible? And then perhaps you know, expanding that. So things like philosophy, spirituality, these broader sort of beliefs, discussing them, perhaps thinking about them, you know, this type of wisdom, higher knowledge, really, really good with the moon here. But this could also be quite literally as well, if you're guided to, you know, expand your little horizons, maybe light travel or hiking, um, these types of things, really good to cultivate when the moon is here as well. So this is important because um, the, uh, the moon's gonna be going over Pluto here today in Sagittarius. And so Pluto is that side of ourself that uh, is very deep. It's actually about um, stripping away any fears through facing them or through going into them, right? So really good day to do this, especially if it's in the, you know, regarding anything that does inspire us or we do see as a potential, you know, if there's any fears about that stuff, going into it, right? Going into the fears and practicing the acceptance of them and also practicing the non-attachment of outcome regarding them, right? There are two things that Pluto helps us do, right? Accept our fears, and the other side of the same coin with that is to practice non-attachment. And that's really when we empower ourselves, right? Because that's ultimately, at the end of the day, what Pluto is helping us do, so to speak, is empower ourselves through this acceptance of our fears and going into them, right? Because then we're no longer, you know, they're no longer above us, the fears, right? When we go into them, we accept them, then we see them for what they actually are, and it's not so scary anymore, right? So that type of empowerment. And then also the empowerment of non-attacks. When we don't care about the outcome, we may care about the thing itself, but you know, in those moments when we fully accept not having what we want or whatever it is we're afraid of, if we fully accept that, that's very empowering, you know? And so this is also what Pluto helps us do. So it's not a major energy. This is happening once a month with the moon over Pluto. But since we don't have any other major aspects here today, I feel like this is likely going to be taking the forefront. Again, most importantly, in the context of how we can expand our worldviews and access a bit of that spirit for life. All right. So uh, minor to that, the moon is going to be squaring up to Venus. So a good day to bring extra attention perhaps to our relationships in terms of setting the intentions to relate, to find the middle ground, re, uh, reciprocity, give and take, things like this. Really good you know, to be aware of that and set intentions with that. 
Also in regards to values, anything that we could be enjoying today, or resources or finances, really good to be intentful and grounded with those things. And uh, very minor, the moon will be sextiling up to the Jupiter trying Neptune we've had this year. So as a backdrop to all this, there could be a bit of easygoingness today. We could be collectively just a bit receptive. And again, a bit inspiring. Jupiter's much like that Sagittarius energy of um, giving us a bit of that broader perspective, which lifts us up a bit, maybe brings in a bit of that optimism, buoyant perspective, which is kind of the case with Sagittarius, again, depending on how we're approaching that. And today, I think going into any fears and practicing non-attachment to help empower that and transform ourselves through that. All right. So that's the day in a nutshell. Um, and again, we are um, going through this gibbous phase. So that means there's a supportive energy here as we approach the full moon now, again, gaining this momentum and insight. And this is because both the sun and moon are in fire signs. So with that moon and inspiring Sagittarius, the sun is, of course, still in Leo. And that's fundamentally what this whole lunar cycle is about. It's about expressing ourselves, right? Gaining energy through expressing ourselves cultivating the things that we enjoy, that give us passion, right? And, you know, focusing on these things and continuing to develop them as we approach the weekend. All right, so have a great day, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget that, that like button, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast. Take care.